Guys, what are we doing? We're going to look at five great budget knives that you can pick up right now, starting with the Lago. Guys, this is the CJRB Lago. Now, this is done in ARPM9 steel. Super, super nice blade that's ground really nicely done. It is a button lock that runs on bearings. you got three different deployment methods. You can do the, the back flipper, reverse flip, and, of course, your typical button lock, just free action. And you can snap. It's hard to do with a tripod in the way. But, yeah, you can do it like that, just like you can with axis lock and other button locks. G10 handles on, on these, they come in multiple colors. There's an all black version. There's a, a black scale with a satin blade. There's a lot of different versions of this. Coming in at $49 on Artisan Cutlery's website. I'll have links to all these knives down below. Great, great feel on this. Fills your hand really nicely. Reversible pocket clip on this. The pocket clip is pretty deep carry it's it's not super deep carry but it is good and it is very comfortable to carry this knife was on a short list of knives that almost became knife of the year this i have to say was the best button lock last year uh cgrb just started doing button locks and they really knocked it out of the park with this you've got a gorgeous gorgeous knife here so like i said if you're looking for something that is a very good everyday carry this is it listen to the action on that bang not Neve's knife. This one's mine. Uh, so yeah, this thing is a lot of fun. It's a great carry and it's nice and light because they did a lot of weight reduction. ARPM 9 steel holds up really well. It's easy to maintenance. It's easy to touch up and, and strop up. So it's a great, great choice. So there you go. There's your first knife, the CJRB Lago. So like I said, we're going to do these in ascending price order. This is the Best Techman Dundee. It's part of Best Tech's new budget line called Best Techman. These are coming in at $54 and you're getting a lot for your money. So you got a really well done D2 blade uh, that after sharpening has held its edge really, really well. Uh, it's ground nice and thin. It's in that Goldilocks zone where it's not too thick, not too thin. Beautiful fuller down the blade. Functional good jimping. G10 handles that have been chamfered off enough that you get a different feel than you typically do from a thin knife like this uh, because it is more rounded. So it allows you to have a thicker handle, but also much better look. You got a really good, fairly deep carry pocket clip that is long. And that allows that tension to be thrown out. So you've got a lot to be spread out. I mean, across the length of that. So really good pocket retention in a fairly deep pocket clip that just absolutely does not form a hot spot. You've got an extra post here that you can throw your lanyard on if you want. And it's in there. So you're not really going to have to worry about hitting on that blade. It's fairly far off. So you can put a lanyard on that if you want. Really good jimping on the flipper tab. The action on this for a $54 knife is really good. It is just shy of drop shut. Just a little shimmy will just convince it to go home. And you can flip if you've got smaller hands than me. I've done it before. You can flip off of that if you can get up in there. It's just because I've got really big hands. You can reverse flick off of the fuller. So Best Techman, I, I absolutely, I was on the fence about this one when it first came in. I didn't know, you know, Best Tech's already pretty budget. This is their budget line. Great, great knife. Absolutely recommend. Well, let's move on to the next one. No, you guys are going to recognize this one. This is my Cansep Prickle. Uh, it's made several appearances in some of these videos because it is such a good, good knife. Not only is it aesthetically pleasing, it is a very attractive knife with the black and copper. It is a very good functional blade for such a thin narrow blade uh, knife i mean carries really well this thing has got a very distinct look almost like a japanese style dagger done in 154 cm with a black coating this thing is great i'm typically not a fan of front flippers but this thing is absolutely great and i love how everything just disappears there is no but there's no thumb studs there's no nothing just that really good job getting this blade thinned out for such a for such a narrow blade that's still in a fairly thick blade stock, really attractive. Checkered G10 gives you very, very good grip. Lots of weight reduction in the scales. Runs on bearings, so you get a nice smooth action, and it does just really snap open. In hand, really comfortable, a lot like the Dundee. That's why I put them both in here is because they're really similar. It's got that chamfered over edges that give it a good feel in hand. And jimping that runs pretty far down the blade so you can get way up on it and still have a little bit of jimping. And I do have to say, for even for a narrow blade that is kind of thick, this does cut very, very well. 
almost disappears in your pocket. This is one of the ones that surprised me so much. These are coming in at um, $74. The action on that is just great. No matter how you hit that, it's easy to do that. So yeah, you get a lot for that. You're not looking at a deep carry pocket clip. This is more of a sculpted clip, but it is super comfortable in hand. Great, great knife. Like I said, $74 right now. So that's it on this one. Here's your next one. This is the Kaiser Mini Roach, which is another knife They're coming in at about the same price point as the last one. This is coming in at $75. This is a knife that bridges the gap between flipper tab or no flipper tab. You have a removable flipper tab that you can put on this right there. I prefer it without. This thing is so, so comfortable. I like this black and gray with this reverse honeycomb. Super, super Thin behind the edge, hollow grind on this done in 154 cm. This thing is screaming sharp. It has a couple dull spots on it because it does get used a lot. Nice deep carry pocket clip that's not too much in the way. Really good in hand in both grips up on here and back here. Carries so, so well. The action on this just slams open. It's not quite drop shut. But if you jiggle it, it will drop. Very, very light blade on that. I love the fact that they went with the color coordination between the black and gray. It gives you a really good monochrome look with uh, with the backspacer also being a G10 and a G10 pivot collar. Uh, this knife gets a lot of use. I like carrying this knife. It does a lot of tasks really, really well. And you really can't argue the price point on it. So if you're looking for a nice, smaller uh, EDC, uh, you're talking four inches closed, um, just about seven and a half open. Really, really good knives. There you go. The Kaiser Mini Roach with the removable flipper tab. That is an awesome, awesome feature. Uh, I, I did a whole video about that. If you're curious about that, you can see it. And the last knife is the X1 Mini or Micro Flip, the X1 MF by Hogue. These are coming in at 140, and the reason it's on the list is for two reasons. It has the coolest sounding, most fidgety sounding action of any button lock. And there's not a lot of these left, and I don't want you guys to miss out. You are looking at an American made Elijah Witch design, Elijah Witch design in CPM 154. This one is Warren Clip. They also have. Uh, a drop point version. I'll put links to both below. Button lock with a secondary lock. It's got this cool clicky detent that when you close it, sounds really cool. This is one of the coolest sounding knives I've ever had come in. This was a gift from one of my subscribers. You've got a reversible pocket clip that is really comfortable in pocket and in hand. Tons of jimping all over that. Big flipper tab. I know not everyone's a big fan of that, but when you get on a small knife like that, that feels really good to have that secure area there that acts like a finger guard. Really nicely done aluminum scales. That secondary lock prevents you from bumping that and getting it unlocked uh, because that button does stand up a little bit, but I don't think that would be an issue. Um, G10 backspacer that gives it a really awesome look. These are done in a couple different colors. Like I said, a couple different blade styles. I really like this one. It definitely looks like a shark to me, and I find it very cool. A lot of the Elijahwitz designs, Elishowitz, Elijahwitz, however you say it, um, they they look like sharks to me. There's been a couple of them that I've seen that really look like that. So great, great knife. Cuts, cuts amazingly well. So that's the last knife. Guys, let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. Guys, there you go. That was five great budget knives that I absolutely recommend. They're all available as of filming, uh, there will be links down below so you can purchase them if you would like. Purchasing things with the links down below absolutely supports the channel. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout. Those companies just pay me for having brought that content and information to you. So um, if you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure you set it to all and make sure that you've got notifications turned on on your device or you will not get notified of everything that goes up. If you want to support the channel financially, like I said, ton of affiliate links down below. Any shopping you're going to do on Amazon, pick one of the links down below. Just type in what it is you're looking for after you get past that initial link. It's like a doorway into my affiliate store. Um, other ways you can do it, uh, I have got a merchandise store that I don't talk about too often, but it is on Ember Shirt Co. There is a coupon code associated with that. And I have a membership that is tier-based, all three tiers get access to the Gilded server, which is just like Discord. Baseline and premium tier members have access or I'm sorry, are 
automatically entered into a giveaway that I do on the Gilded server, and the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube. Guys, that's it on this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I love y'all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video. <music>